now. My name Angel Foodcake and I Instagram model. I have 9 billion Instagram followers. Some people say that's not possible and I bought followers from website but I don't know what to tell you, i just that popular. I got my big break on Instagram back in 2015. I hashtag juicy butt on one of my posts and it went crazy popular. There was really no looking back from there. Since then, I post my page and build my page by hashtagging and posting my juicy butt. I find my follower fan base only really like butt photo now. That's okay. People think that the life of an Instagram model is very easy. It is not easy. I have to wake up every day at noon and start the process. I have to go to my personal trainer and get vigorous exercise. I come home and I eat my first and probably only meal of the day. Having a healthy lifestyle is very important to me. I start blog soon. I wash my body, I shave everything. I have to apply makeup for all my selfies. Be picture perfect ready. Sometimes I make video or go live for my fans. This is a lot of work. I do prefer to do photo so I can photoshop myself to look like Brad Stoll. I prefer to look like Brad Stoll. I do not want to look human. There are a lot of perks being a Instagram superstar. I get a lot of recognition for my work and my juicy butt. But there are a lot of downfalls. My home is filled with products. My teeth are so white they hurt all the time. I have no enamel left. I have diarrhea every day because I cannot stop drinking the skinny teas. It is so plentiful in my home and yet I cannot stop drinking it. I'm very dedicated to my campaigns and my brands. I had three ribs removed for a waist trainer campaign, but I think it was worth it. My internal organs do not know where to go. They are not protected, they are not safe, but I look skinny. My day-to-day -day messagings are not your average. I have celebrities in my DMs asking me to fly to California. I will not name these men, but here is a list of them. My love life is a bit tragic. I will not date anyone with less than 100,000 followers. I do let old fat men take me on vacation, but I do not tell anybody about it. I do it for the photo, but I keep it private. I do not post boyfriend on my social media, because then I don't get my vacation to Miami every year, so it works out for me. I don't have a lot of friends in real life. I kind of live inside my own little bubble. The validation I get online from strangers is more than enough than I need. I would not know who to say to blame, but you know, I don't know. I have to be very careful when I leave my home. Sometimes there is paparazzi just following me around while I try to live my normal life. I do tend to go to the places where they're going to be, like Coachella, etc, etc. But you know, just let me live. What would I say to girls that want to be on Instagram? Well, I would say that you should do whatever makes you happy. You have everything you want since you were a little girl. You have iPhone, you have validation from strangers, probably daddy issues. You can drink your diarrhea tea and have a nice life for yourself. You don't have to worry about your future until you're in your mid thirties. Then you can marry rich fat man or go work at Starbucks. It's not that bad. But thank you for the interview, I have to get going. Follow my Instagram page, angelfoodcake underscore juicy butt. Some people say I eat too many chocolate bars. I came over to America when I was very young. I have to thank Epstein for bringing me over for a new life. <laughs> Back in Vladivostok, I used to breed sheep by inserting the semen. <laughs> it's very hot in here. This is real chinchilla hair. I block it myself. <laughs> this is all the shavings from my butthole when I came to America. It's the only thing I have left of my mother. <laughs>